Hey guys, Luke with Luke's Coin Art here today. And I have a really cool coin ring that we're going to do. This is a uh, sobriety token, pure silver. Um, this is a this is a one year, but we're going to pop that one out. This was almost made to be ringed the way that everything just happens to work out with these. So let's get started here. The coin itself is pretty expensive. Um, a half ounce of silver is only worth about eight or nine dollars at this time and uh, these are about 45 50 bucks for these guys so um, they're kind of spendy for silver but they really are worth it when they're done this is for a customer and this one's either going to be a 10 or 12 I'll kind of play it by ear as we go because they need one of each size it's a really cool coin because it has um, no rim but it does have detail on the rim says 0.999 fine silver 0.5 ounce and then the mint mark it's very hard to capture on film there guys but I think we got it for a second there there you go so anyways we're gonna pop this center out and it just happens to work out that this center pops out perfectly and still leaves almost a rim like the rim of the coin when we're done So we're going to do a 3 8 inch, inch punch, which is the perfect size. I don't have a ring that will fit over it. Let me get it on camera here. I don't have a ring that will fit this perfect to make it centered, but it just so happens that this little part that's sticking out fits in that hole just dead center. So it makes it a little easier for me kind of just sits in there, dead center. So it doesn't take me anything except for just to pop it out. So we pop that out. So you can see there's still a little lip. It's hard to capture. Going around. <clears throat> so that'll make it really cool when it's done. That's the other side. So let me clean this inside hole out. looks good there. So now it's time to start folding this and having some fun. I'm not sure if we can see. Yeah, we can see good enough here.
these have just a really weird smell and some kind of chemical put on them afterwards. Probably just rubbing alcohol to be honest with you. I'm not sure what it is, but I never smelled it before. It made me nervous the first time I did one of these because uh, I was thinking it wasn't silver, but God, it stinks. It's almost toxic. Ugh. All right. So now I'm going to use my trusty tool box and we're going to fold this guy up. Uh, let's see what we got here. Perfect. So we're going to have the prayer on the inside. So that'll be up. And I'm going to start with a smaller cone. God, that stuff reeks. Your first little step there. I'm going to hit it back to the flame. I won't move the camera every time. Acetone or something too. I'm thinking that they acetone these things before they send them out. God, they smell. I don't know if it's a good thing or not. All right, so I'm gonna use the other side of this die. Move to the next cone size. I'm gonna actually wrap this cone with some Teflon tape to protect that inside detail. It's really hard to get parts the inside perfect because metal on metal contact but we're gonna try to try to protect this so that that prayer is visible when we're done. I need a new thing of tape. God that shit reeks. Got our cone a little detected here now. Now I'm going to go to the next size cone down, and we're super close to being done folding this. So I'm just going to do this last little fold. as we can go. We are sucked up to the cone. So you can now kind of see that lip a little better that we left on there from that hole punch. It's really cool. Um, so now the magic happens. We take to the stretcher. This is where we're at right now. So I'm going to heat it again real quick. Okay, so now we're going to go over to the stretcher, if I don't drop my phone, sorry guys, 